Hey guys, what's up? We're back with some more Warframe action, and today I want to introduce you all to a new weapon, a new member of the Gatekeeper's family of weapons. So, let's literally begin with a level 100. All that jazz. Okay, I think that's everyone. Is that everyone? Oh no, one more left. Who's left? Okay. There we go, that's everyone. Okay, so you may be wondering, oh gee, that's a new weapon, I don't really recognize that one. What is that weapon? Well, that is the Gatekeeper's Judgment. The Gatekeeper's Judgment is a kit gun. It is built through three parts that all kit guns require three parts, of course. So the chamber is the Tomb Finger Chamber. It is a uh, single shot, well, not really. It's a semi-automatic hyper damage chamber. The loader is the splat. I think that gives me some good reload speed. Not 100% sure of that, about that. And the grip is the Haymaker grip. So let's have a look at the build that I am using for this particular kit gun. So this is a very simple, very standard three former build. Hornet Strike Battle uh, Diffusion and Lethal Torrent are basically your stock standard go-to mods. Uh, this weapon has some really, really good crit uh, just even on its base. So from the base crit that we're looking at is 38%. That's very, very strong. And the base status chance is 60, 16%. Sorry, uh, that's, a, that's all right. I didn't go for parts that had maximum status chance. I went for parts that had maximum crit chance. So when gilded, you get 38% crit chance. So obviously going for Prime Target, Cracker and Pistol Gambit, Pistol Gambit, they're very like that, that's your pretty much your bread and butter in terms of a super duper high uh, critical chance weapon. Now, because my gun is a single shot weapon as opposed to like a spray and pray kind of weapon, uh, there's no it doesn't it's not that big, big of a problem that I have 70.3% uh, status chance as opposed to 100% status chance, uh, even with the multi shot included, like it's not that big of a deal, that's gonna be fine. So, uh, apparently, I think it's um, by virtue of the uh, of the tomb finger um, chamber, I'm not 100% sure about that. But this weapon actually comes with innate radiation damage at 123 at base. So obviously, with all the mods, I am now capable of doing radiation and corrosive damage. Now, obviously, I could choose to do something like radiation and viral damage. Perhaps that would be a little bit more stronger. But definitely, go for corrosive radiation would make it useful uh, in terms of the status effects. Like no matter, even if the corrosive uh, effect is completely and utterly useless to me because the enemies don't have any armor at least having access to radiation will always be useful and finally for my final mod i have decided on anemic agility just so that i can go bow 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 like that now you may be wondering oh dear there's no arcane well i haven't actually reached old mate yet i'm still trying to get there but you know i don't necessarily have the time every day to go and get to old mate so the plan is to get a specific packs called packs 
Oh boy, hang on, let me, I have to bring up the, I have to bring up the notes, specifically the notes from the, uh, from, from the review, what was it, the Fortuna review, I'm literally gonna have to bring out those notes, so let's see, let's get rid of that page, here it is, it's called, called Pax Bolt. Pax Bolt, I am specifically waiting to get Pax Bolt, especially a fully modded, or a fully, you know, 10 Pax Bolts basically, put that into uh, the arcane slot for this weapon and then I will be able to increase my Warframe's um, ability strength and ability efficiency by, what is it, 30%, which is just, oh, wow, can't wait for that. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this, if you did hit the like button, if you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to the channel, and until next time, I will see you guys later, thanks for watching. Um... Now I'll just demonstrate this weapon under the effects of good old fashioned Dark Magician in attack mode. Now let's just hope that the game doesn't actually crash because sometimes the game crashes when I'm doing this. Oh, we're back. Okay, excellent. So here we go. All right, so now we have to, all we have to do is just bait them all in here. Let's see, where are the others? Get in here, get in here, get in here, get in here. Ah, excellent, they've all come, they've all come. Excellent, ready, 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 three, two, one. There we go, now we, now the real fun begins. You'll notice that the heavy gunners take a lot of time to kill because they're a lot stronger than your heavy bombards. That's fine. This weapon basically one shots any um, stray fodder. But your heavy enemies, they take forever to kill. Unless, of course, you get those meaty, meaty headshots. Keep in mind that you may have noticed that this weapon does do AOE damage. This is a function of the Tomb Finger uh, chamber. Anyway, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, hit the like button. If you really enjoyed it, maybe consider subscribing to the channel. And as per usual, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.